Hi friends, uh, welcome to your uh, Children's Wealth YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about uh, question paper review which we have seen in the earlier uh, years, academic years which will come under arithmetic progressions. Friends, just before go to this topic, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Also press bell icon to receive our notifications uh, the first question uh, which uh, calls for one mark that is if the nth term of an arithmetic progression is 4n square minus 1 then the eighth term is basically they are asking what is the eighth term in the term they have already defined that is 4n square minus 1 so friends uh, here I have given some mistake case picture this you need to keep it in your mind always to solve any arithmetic progressions it will be easier to gather the problem see here uh, yeah, uh, to find out the nth term we need the formula a plus n minus 1 into d so a n is equal to he, he, this we, he, he has already given that is 4 n square minus 1 so a 8 is equal to 4 into n is nothing but 8 8 square minus 1 so if we simplify this further 4 into 8 square is nothing but 64 minus 1 so a 8 is equal to 256 minus 1 so a 8 is 255 Friends, uh, we'll just move on to next problem. If the sum of the first eight terms of arithmetic progression is 136 and that of first 15 term is 465, then find the sum of first 25 terms. Or the sum of the fifth and ninth terms of an arithmetic progression is 40 and the sum of the eighth and 14 term is 64 find the sum of 20 terms it's a 4 marks question friends as I have already told you from this arithmetic progression you can expect around 7 to 10 marks from the question paper for each year we'll just move on to solution part see friends here they are saying the sum of terms it's a not just a term it's sum of terms so we need to use a formula SN sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d by using this formula see they are saying uh, sum of first 8 terms of arithmetic progression is 136 so s8 is equal to here 8 term no so n uh, replaces 8 8 by 2 into 2a plus 8 minus 1 into d is equal to 136 means uh, sum of 8 term is 136 so we have taken that so if we simplify this further we are going to get 80 plus 28d is equal to 136 so we will just simplify this further we will just take it out 4 so 4 into 2a plus 7d so 4 into 2 is nothing but 8 so 80 4 into 7 is nothing but 28 28d is equal to 136 here we have just simplified the equation to put for further uh, uh, finding out the terms so 2a plus 7d is equal to 34 so 7d is equal to 34 minus 2a friends uh, for this stage we will going to call this equation as 1 so we will take out the second part of the problem that is first 15 terms sum of first 15 terms is 465 so s15 is equal to 15 by 2 into 2a plus 15 minus 1 into d is equal to 465 so here will uh, 15 by 2 is nothing but 7.5 2a will retain as it is plus 15 minus 1 is nothing but 14 14d is equal to 465 so here we can write 15a plus 105d is equal to 465 if we take it out 15 we're going to get 50 into a plus 7d is equal to 465 
so a plus 70 it becomes 31 so a will retain as it is 7d we can take it out from first equation that is 7d is nothing but 34 minus 2a is equal to 31 we will retain as it is if you simplify this formula we will going to get a is equal to 3 so this a is equal to 3 we will put it back in equation 1 from equation 1 we can write Two a that actually here I have taken this uh, equation two a plus seven d is equal to thirty four. So if we apply a value to that equation, it will become two into three plus seven d is equal to thirty four. So d is nothing but four. So actually they are asking what is the sum of twenty fifth terms? Again we'll write it as using the formula S n is equal to n n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d we can write it as s25 is equal to 25 by 2 into 2a plus n is nothing but 25 so 25 minus 1 into d if we apply a value and d value we are going to get s25 is equal to 25a plus 300d so s25 is nothing but 25 into 3 plus 300 into 4 if we simplify it further we are going to get s25 is equal to 1275 friends if uh, this is the easiest way we can solve the problem so from this solution you can grab 4 marks so if you have any doubt in this you can write it in our, in our comments column so that we will get back to you thanks for watching